Hi, I'm Amanda of Inspiring Inkin and welcome to my craft room. In today's video I'm going to show you a quick card using the reflection technique. We're going to be using Lovely as a Tree and doing a little bit of sponging as well. So let's get started. Okay, so for this card I am using an old olive card blank. I've got an early espresso layer and a matte layer to go on top of that. And then I've got another layer to go inside. Now all the sizes of my cards are the same. So my cards measure eight inches by five and three quarters and I score them at four inches. And then the layers go three and three quarters by five and a half and then three and a half by five and a quarter. I'll put a link um, in the see more description at the bottom of this YouTube channel. I do have a PDF with all the sizes on that for how I mat and layer. And there's a video as well. So I'll put all those links in there for you. So don't worry if you didn't get the measurements down. Okay, and the colors I'm using, I've got early espresso ink, old olive ink and soft sky. Two stamp sets, teeny tiny sentiments and the matching punch and lovely as a tree now for the more eagle-eyed amongst you you'll notice that this is a really old case or a different case all of our stamps come in cases like this now this is one of the very first stamp sets i bought when i joined as a demonstrator which is 10 years ago um, we launched in europe 10 years it will be in november 2017 and this is the only stamp set that's made it throughout those whole 10 years. And it's consistently one of the top 10 stamp sets that Stampin' Up! sells. And you'll see why, because it's just amazing. Um, I'm gonna use this uh, sort of skeleton tree, five tree set. And I'm just gonna get my ink pad open. Try not to get myself covered in ink get the right layer first. So I'm going to ink up in early espresso and then I've got a fingerprint on it already and then I'm going to stamp my trees at the top and ink it up again, stamp it off and stamp the trees. So that's actually going to be for the inside. And then I'm going to use my secret weapon to make the reflection. Now, this secret weapon is called the Stampamajig. The Stampamajig is a stamp positioning system we, we sell, and it has two parts to it. So I'll just get those out to show you. So this is the, the T piece that um, positions your stamps. And then this is the imaging sheet. Now I've done another video using Beautiful You to show you how to use this and the way it was intended, but this is another way that you can use it. If you don't have a stamp -a jig then you could use a piece of acetate, but it needs to be something quite thick. I don't know, can you, feel, can you hear that? Um, it needs to be quite thick and it needs to be smooth, as otherwise the technique won't work. So ink up your stamp again and stamp it anywhere on that sheet and then what you're going to do is turn it over so you've got the ink side going down and then you're going to line it up with the trees and then you're going to rub over the top. Just spend a, a, a few seconds just doing that just to make sure that all the ink is transferred. And there you have a lovely reflection. So what we are going to do now is we're going to imagine that along this centre line here, that is where the water's edge is going to be. So this is the sky and this is going to be a lake or, or something like that. So I'm going to use a sponge dauber with old olive ink and I've inked it up, but then I'm actually going to take most of the ink off because actually I want it just to be really light. So just go in circles along the top 
edge and you'll be able to see as I move my fingers out of the way. So what we're actually doing is building up colour there and I'm going just sort of along to where that imaginary shoreline would be and then don't re-ink the uh, dauber but just go over the bottom half so that that is actually a lighter shade because as it reflects obviously there's not quite as much colour. You can go back over the top section just to add in a little bit more colour. There we go, brilliant. Okay, so then we're going to do exactly the same with the sky. Now I'm using soft sky and again I'm going to take off quite a lot of ink and then what you're actually going to do is you're going to move the sponge dauber in a circular motion, uh, the sponge the piece of sponge in circular motion and I move it before I'm actually even on the sheet and I'm just going to go over the top and be patient because the colour will build just keep going keep going and keep going and I'm going right down to that shoreline can actually see the difference there and then you're going to do exactly the same at the bottom but again we're not putting any more ink on but I'm not going to do it as much because again I want it just to be a reflection so a softer version of what is is um, at the top and I'm also going to run the blue along the bottom half of the the grass so um, it sort of, it gives the watery illusion over the top of the grass. Okay, so I'm just going to just put a little bit more colour on there. And that is pretty much that technique done. So I'm just going to find a stamp. So actually, let's go for Happy Retirement, which is there. I think this will make a great retirement card. I'm going to ink up the stamp and then punch it out. And then on this one, I am just going to just go over it a little bit with the soft sky just to soften out that vanilla. And I'm going to get a dimensional and scoot along to find a pair of scissors. So that's ready to go. So I'm just now going to assemble the card. So this layer is going on the early espresso layer. And then that is going on the card front. side and then let's just put the sentiment on the front and then it's all finished there we go. make it straight so there you go thank you so much for joining me today I hope you've enjoyed today's project using lovely as a tree and the reflection technique for more creative inspiration, please pop over to my blog www.inspiringinking.com where you'll find more projects and my online store. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel too. You'll be notified as soon as I post new videos. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.